Oh, good. We we have a story on Uranus. I love that. Awesome story on Uranus. I did it yesterday on Chewing. Everybody, everybody loves stories about Uranus. Uh, what's that? Okay, that he's. Oh, her. Yes. Love her. What do you mean? Now the, the the Ollie London. Love her. Oh, that's awesome. Did you do that? I never. I don't think got to it. I I, I, mean, I don't know that it's yes, real. Do me a favor. Can you uh, move the stop. Seat? Hi. All right. I don't know go. that it's. I know here we go, real, people. Though. Places, places. It is showtime. It's Saturday Morning Live with Jeff Fisher and Brad Staggs. With musical guest, the Shingle Taints. Yeah! Ah, that's awesome. Right? Ladies and gentlemen, here's Brad Staggs and Jeff Fisher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank right? you. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you. Oh, the band Thanks for My worked. gosh. My gosh, you look great. Uh, do Don't let anybody tell you that you don't, because you do. Wait, if anyone me? says, wow, you're wearing that today, say, yes, I am, and I'm proud of it. Uh, you look fantastic. Didn't they look in a mirror before they went out the door? No, no don't believe anyone. Don't believe it. It's a kind of a sad day, though. I mean, we started with... Uh, you know, with that upbeat music, it's Saturday morning live. Yep. It's beautiful. It's a wonderful thing. We even got, I don't know, a Stuber Gear sound alike to do the open for us. He was less expensive. Awesome. He was far less expensive. Oh, yeah, he's cheap. I mean, let's be yeah. clear. Right. And uh, do I need to move? Oh, that's it. I thought you are in the, the same what place every day. I know. I'm right here. Move the camera. It's your, you got to talk to the camera guy standing in front of you. He's right there. You have to be the one to tell him he's got to no, move. You, you have, know how he is. You have the control. I, you think I have control of anything? Seriously. Wow. For those right, who, so, anyway, by the way, if sad. anybody's just joining us, it's the, uh, it's the Saturday morning live show. And no, uh, that's what the open just said. Right. But I just wanted to make, because what if they're joining us right now and it's two minutes after the opening and they're like, what? What's this? What is this? What is this? <laughs> now, now they know. What is this? Otherwise, I'm sure. Look, any, anytime joining this program, you're going to be saying, "What is this?" Yeah, yeah, with uh, so, a lot of sarcasm in the voice too, because chewing the fat is on every day, and you can get it everywhere. Correct. And then the Daily Mojo is on every day, and, and you, you can, can get, get it, it here everywhere, everywhere, on the street corner. Yeah, you can trade it for drugs. So you most shows are right there, and you can get it everywhere. Yeah. Looks like it's going to be, I was looking outside, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. I might actually have to go out and get some vitamin D today. Ugh. Leave the house. I don't necessarily want to, but Ugh. Ugh. I know. There's people out there, you know. I, I know. There's a lot of people. I, I was out. I, I was actually out in it yesterday, and there's a whole bunch of people that uh, uh. do not believe in staying home. Ugh. They're no. going places. They're doing things. No, they're, they're blocking traffic. Yeah, see, it's that's just, the problem. That's that the is problem. that is the problem. Remember the good old days during uh, I don't know a few years ago when you could go out and no one was out. Right. I remember driving awesome. in my truck thinking, "This is one good thing about the whole yes, pandemic." There's absolutely n- nobody out here. Absolutely. And I loved it. Even I drive into the studios even like at four o'clock in the morning, and there may be was a car and we both kind of looked at each other like why are you out right <laughs> those right? were the good old days if there was anything good about those days <laughs> that was it that was it did, anyway as I, did you as did I you want to start with the the her or did you want to where do you want to well i, I mean it's it the sad, sad news today it is sad All if right. you believe it i mean I, I i i'd like to believe it but i don't know that it's who don't know that it's true who wouldn't believe Lizzo, Lizzo. Yeah. I'm mean, getting tired of putting up with being dragged by everyone. Are you? All I want to make is music and make people happy and to help love. the world be a little better than how I found it. I want to make sweet love. Well, I'm starting to feel like the world doesn't want me in it. 
Uh, I'm constantly up against lies being told about me for clout and views. Yeah, and some of your you know former workers are saying things about you that eh, it really isn't about clout and views. Anyway, being the butt of the joke every oh, single a, time. That's a big butt. Oh, see, that's what she's tired of right there. Well, she could People uh, treadmills make it, make buy it a Peloton. My character is being picked apart by people who don't know me and disrespecting my name. I didn't sign up for this crap. Well, kind of you did. Yeah, you kind of did. You kind of did sign up for this. Yeah, you did. And uh, she says she quit. So That's, yeah. No. No way. Uh, oh, I wait, quit. Somebody, somebody just eight seconds ago, or excuse me, 24 minutes ago, it just updated. Obviously, you don't know me, but I was feeling down and last minute went to your concert in Chicago. It oh, was no. the most loving, inclusive, kind, and uplifting event. I just wanted to let you know that how much it uh, meant to me and how much I appreciate you, your talent and message. I hope you realize that those who love you far outweigh. <laughs> I get it. The nasty haters. Well, there Signed you go. Lizzo's mom. Right, exactly. But so there are people. Out, and here's the thing. When everybody went all bat crap crazy when she played James Madison's flute, which I know there should be a joke there, but I was like, she's a she's a flautist. She is well, a she, professional and a white. It's a I, flute. I know you love. I know. I know you only tell this story because you like saying she's a flautist. She's a flautist. <laughs> okay. But she's and a I professional and she knows how to play the flute. And I thought, you know what? She's an American too. Why can't and she the, play? And the, the issue I had with that more than her actually playing the flute, being a flautist and all, right, uh, is that they offered it. It wasn't well, yes. like it wasn't like Lizzo said. Hey, why don't you hand me that thing? I'll play it. Is that a... Can I eat that? <laughs> I don't think she See, said that. That's why she quit. See, that's why she quit. Because she right couldn't there. eat it? Well, she that and people she... kept asking. Well, did she, did she uh, eat it? She's not healthy. <laughs> she is not healthy. But in and... today's, oh, yes, she is. Yes, she is. She's in a good place. Okay, so. but she's not healthy. It's not healthy to be that... Over and she's young, she needs to get out there and play with the other flautists. I mean, she, run around. She does on stage. She performs. She moves like crazy. It's a it's a glandular thing. Oh, is it a thyroid? Is she? Yes, out? I thought it was. Yeah, yeah. so quit making fun. Elbow thing. Well, and and you said it, well, she mentioned. I guess you mentioned the fact that she was taking her crew out and doing stuff. And when I read the reports of what. It yeah, was she was doing she was calling them and everything. Yeah. And if it's the ones I think that would, didn't she take them to like sex clubs and stuff? Well, yeah, that, and but she was, uh, actually just, uh, you know, verbally assaulting them and calling, she didn't want her dancers to be fat. And, uh, which, you know, I mean, I understand, look, I'm the star. I'm the star. Like, like this particular show here, Saturday morning live. Like, I don't want the band to be fat. I don't want the tanks to be fat. Now, I don't know. Either have they arrived yet? Or the... They are. It looks like they're in the parking lot. Oh, they did. They actually made it. The window's okay, dirty. Good. But I think they're in the parking lot. There's a van out there unloading something. Okay, well, good. Hopefully, hopefully we'll have it. Uh, we'll have the stage uh, set up for them. I'm not sure, but we're, I'm just hoping they don't cancel at the last minute because so many bands have canceled on us they're at already, the last minute. They're already in the parking lot. Why would they well, cancel? but they, they're they talking to somebody on a cell phone. Oh, no. So I don't know what it is they're doing. Oh, no, they could be unhappy. They might quit. Right. They, they may be friends of Lizzo. They might. And if they're listening right now, they, they might not be very happy with us. That's all well, I'm saying. I, I didn't say it. I'm I look I want nothing but the best for Lizzo and the personally. shingle taints and the shingle taints. I well, want I the best the for the shingle taints too. Okay, yeah, there are, there are more humans on Earth. I'm good with that. I, I right. like it. No problem. Just I like it. I I I do have the uh, uh the shot ready that you requested of uh, Baltimore Harbor too. Oh, we're going to talk about the bridge. I don't know. You're going to get into the bridge. It's Saturday, and I thought you know people might want to know what. What does the status of the bridge is? Is it up yet? 
Um, define up. Oh, look at that. Up. I mean, holy cow. I saw uh, this. This actually is not, I guess, the shot that I was actually talking about, but I, it's fine. But because what it is, is that you really don't. We were talking. Uh, hey, we were talking before the show, before backstage. you people listening now are listening to us. Right. Backstage. And, uh, yeah, backstage. Uh, and uh, the magnitude of this is incredible. No question. Now, I, I said last week or somewhere, uh, in the, somewhere in the past that if you wanted a good gig, um, be, get a company together and be a salvage company or a building company and get over there. I mean, they right. just gave, they just gave Maryland 60 million. I spit Ooh. on $60 million. That $60 million is nothing. Uh, that, that's, that's just the beginning, man. That is just the beginning. It doesn't look There's like anything's be... happening. I know. I know. That's the thing. We're moving. It seems like it's such a tedious, and it is, process. But we need to, I mean, this is America. Let's let's get on it. Let's yeah, go. Move, Why are move. we not dragging some of that bridge stuff out of there? Move that I mean, bridge. it's embarrassing that we haven't even gotten all the bodies out of there yet, to be honest. Yeah. There's still four down there, right? Yeah. And But they're underneath the bridge. I mean, literally... But they were the working on top of the bridge. So I know, but when you saw the them and then the bridge <laughs> fell on top of them, it's like, <laughs> yeah, they were all, do you know, they were in a, on a break. That's why they were in the trucks. They were on a break. Oh, I just thought that was just in. another government job where they were just on the bridge, sitting in a truck, sitting pretending to yeah, work. Like no, any, they were actually, they were on a break. They were on a break. Okay. According to the all stories right. that I've seen sitting in the trucks, that's why they couldn't get out of there. And uh, oh. that's and then you saw the bridge fall on top of him. So I can't imagine. As a diver, it reminds me of that scene in Jaws. Remember when uh, he dives down to find the shark tooth in the side of that little boat? And then the Mr. whatever his name owned the boat. He swung into view in the boat and he freaked out Richard Dreyfus. You don't remember that? I guess. I don't know. Is... I couldn't be a diver doing that. Could not do it. Nope. Wouldn't want to be finding people underneath the. Oh, know, I don't want to be. I, I don't. I don't. I don't want to drown either. No, uh, that is know. one of the better or worse than burning alive. Yeah. I would rather drown. I think than burn alive. Yeah. There's a great. You know, we're talking about stupid movies, but there's a great drowning scene in the Poseidon Adventure. The latest. Poseidon, right? So it's uh, Kurt Russell is in it. And he, when he drowns in this movie, yes. it, is a, it is a really good drowning scene. And it makes you think about what it would actually be like. I thought that yes. uh, he did a great job. Uh, and uh, I, I, I just, I don't want that. That and Tom Cruise in... Which Mission Impossible was it where he was spinning around in that thing in the water and he's trying to pull the thing off the stuff mm. before it blows up and he, it's that where you can't help yourself but you suck in the yeah. water. Yeah, and you know it's, you know that's it. Yeah, that would suck. That would yeah. not be a good way to go. Really bad. This is uplifting, hey. Dumb ways to die. <laughs> enjoy your eggs. <laughs> Saturday enjoy morning your- live. That's the best. Hey, we're taking your calls now. What way? How do you want to die? Right. Hey, hey, hey. Can we take calls on our Saturday morning live show? Sure. Absolutely. No, I mean, seriously. Hi, it's Bob calling in from uh, Columbus. (laughs) This is your network we're doing this through. Well, that that should answer your question. I can't even take calls on my own show. You're host. Why not? It's a complicated thing. Okay, well, to, com- I'm complicated. I don't expect anyone to understand. It's phones. I mean, make a phone. Go ahead. If I said make a phone, would you be able to? No, because no one understands how to make a phone. Well, that's true. I mean, that's the joke, right? I mean, that's the joke. If you think, you know, if I leave you, uh, you want to complain about technology. If I leave you out in the woods naked, you know, call me when you get to the iPhone. Yeah. <laughs> You've made the exactly. iPhone. Exactly. Yeah. Oops, sorry. That's a. Uh... Oh, hang on. That was uh, Chaya. That was Libs of TikTok. That was. I don't know if you saw that this morning. What happened? Libs of TikTok talked with the 
former CEO of Planet Fitness. Oh. Did you see no. that? No, I did not. She, I just, I saw this. I did not mean to play that. That just broke 17 hours ago. She spoke with former Planet Fitness CEO Mike Grundahl about the how reason. Long has he been, how long has he been former CEO? That's a very good question. Let's because see. Because Planet Fitness has been, you know, nightmarish for a while now. We just haven't realized it. Let's see. Uh, Christopher Rondo is the current. No, is that right? Hang on a second. What's this guy's name? This guy's name is Mike Grondahl. He was with Planet Fitness. I don't know when. Okay. That's left. But this dude. Wow. But not, even though, even about the current CEO, they're talking about him keeping kegs uh, in the in the place. And I mean, if you're going to be a you know at Planet well, Fitness, you might as well have kegs. He resigned. Yeah, so from what? The, he this the the current guy that's not the CEO anymore resigned in February of this year. Okay. The guy that she talked to, I don't know when he was the CEO, but um, here's what she said about. For everyone who's been following the past few weeks, Planet Fitness has been in the news a lot, and that is because they allow men in the women's locker rooms. Um, they not just double down, triple down, they quadruple down, and yeah, even more, I can't sure count where we're up to already, it's... but they are defending this man with everything they have. Um, and for their weird. troubles, they're it sure is. Like $400 million off of their, their value. So today we get to talk she is just to cute. the founder of Planet Fitness, ah. and he has a very interesting story. Uh, Mike, thank you so much for joining me today. Let's just thank get you. right into it. Thank uh, you very I much. To talk he looks about, happy, doesn't he? Uh, how you founded Planet Fitness, what your mission was, I want to what do your start AGM. Was, and then yeah. we can get into what happened to that thank vision. Thank you, Jaya. How about we just uh, fast forward? And see what yeah, yeah, that's that's a good idea. Children. Do you think those children are safe right now? I mean, it seems like Planet oh, Fitness boy. has a history of, of promoting uh, perverts and pedophiles Whoa. and predators. Whoa. Based on <laughs> what you're saying now. When you went public, the majority of the Whoa, what, what is going on here? Is this I don't a, know. What is that guy back there? Is a, What is happening? Who is, is the other he dude? a hostage or something? Blink twice if you need help. <laughs> is is Grundel a hostage, or which one is? I bet that's his attorney. Back yeah, and look I at the know. history Stop. of what's happened at Planet Fitness recently, um, you know, with throwing out the multiple people. Apparently, on Fridays they drink, and <laughs> one of the girls got roofied. <laughs> <and> <laughs> Whoa! Uh, you know, and the, the people at the corporate office. Whoa! Um, Do you hear that? They drink, and no, one of the girls I, got I was... roofied. No, I'm sorry. I was laughing at the, at the shot. I'm sorry. I, I can't stop laughing at the shot. So I'll stop laughing and go back to he, what he said. He said something. I'm nothing, sorry. Nothing is comedy. Like he's saying serious stuff, and I'm laughing is. at the shot because he's the hostage video. The shingle taints are, they're looking at the building. Okay, so they haven't quit yet. They haven't quit, right, but it looks Grundle. like they're listening to the program. Back to Grundle. They put oh, something they back out. in the van. Yeah. I don't know. It's in the culture. I mean, if you go back and you look at the history of what's happened at Planet Fitness recently, um, you know, with throwing out the multiple people, apparently on Fridays they drink and one of the girls got roofied and raped. <laughs> wow. You know, and the, the people at the corporate office, um, Richard Moore, the attorney, the pedophile attorney, he took over the HR department and he was abusing people within the company and the board of directors wow. knew about it. Holy shnikes. So so does does Michael, does he want the company back? So he must have sold it. He was the CEO. Does he want it back now? Is that what he's doing? Is, Possibly. Uh, besmirching the uh, the Planet Fitness people wow. so that he gets it back. The ped did he say the pedophile head of HR? Yeah. Well, the pedophile uh, attorney is who is now in charge of HR, yeah. Wow. He was abusing people. Now, the party stuff, I mean, yeah, okay, so they were having parties and some dirtbag roofied somebody, if that's true. He right. did. Right. I mean, he's saying, uh, oh, apparently, okay, yeah, apparently a UFO flew over. All right. Right, you. yeah. I mean, there's allegations until they're, well, 
in the old America, it used to be <laughs> allegations yeah. uh, weren't true until they were yes. proven in a court of law. Yes. But in America 2024, holy crap, they were roofing and raping people right there in Planet <laughs> Fitness. <laughs> and you can take that to the bank. It doesn't. Because uh, that's, that's what happened. Right, right. That's, that's what he just, said. That's their truth. That's what he and, said. Now you play the tape back, he says apparently, but that's not what we're listening to. Right. We're listening to it. That's what happened. So anyway, that's just another another breaking story. I will say this. Uh, if you want to, you know, if you want to uh, exercise and uh, feel better about yourself, uh, and you don't want to be part of uh, the uh, abusive people mm-hmm. uh, and owners of Planet Fitness. Better you performance. Uh, better you performance. Uh, we'll help you out. Uh, Is that our sponsor? Yeah, sponsored by Better You Performance. Yes, had that's I correct. Known, Be a better I you. Have, uh, I would have had them up here. Uh, better you performance. Right, uh, right there. Is that them? that's correct. That's them. Well, by now the like- gym. The actual gym itself is in Round Rock, Texas, but you can use his, you can use the the app, and uh, he will uh, he will get you straight. Wait a minute! I can use an app to exercise. Yep. I just have to open the app and just have to open the app, and it's just like exercise. I've locked. <laughs> Does Lizzo know about this? No, I don't think so. I do not think so. Because I think someone needs to call Lizzo and tell her about Better You Performance. You could just go to Better You Performance, and uh, his number, the guy's name is uh, Elvis, and uh, he will call you back. He will call you back. Wait a He'll minute. You, you mean like uh, Elvis Presley? No, Elvis Presley is dead or assumed uh, dead. Yeah. Uh, this guy's name, I think, is Elvis Fisher. Costello? No, Elvis Fisher. Now, is no, he any, Elvis Fisher. If, if there's any confusion, is he maybe related? Oh my gosh, he is! Yes. Holy cow! Yes, he is. Holy cow! That's yes. amazing. I know. I did I not know. I, I thought he had like Orange Julius or something. Oh, that was a long time ago. Oh, this is yeah, this, that was a long time ago. Is uh, the, so this he is bought his... in. Actually, if you want to know the whole story, he bought into Orange Theory, and then uh, they bought him back out, and then he uh, instead of buying back in, uh, he decided to do his own thing. Huh. Well, I'll be darned. Well, that's good. Yeah. So, uh, where are so the only gym, though, is in. Yeah, the, the, the actual gym is in Round Rock, Texas, just outside of Austin, because he moved out of Austin. The original gym was in Austin proper. Okay. And uh, there was no more of that happening. I got gotcha. uh, There's other issues in the city of Austin. Which is sad because I loved Austin. I love uh, Austin. They do. Texas. I, mean, I know. Elvis loves it, too. I mean, keep Austin weird. I always agreed with that. It's just they their definition of weird turned out to be a completely different definition than I held. I know. Of weird. I it's know. very sad. It's very indicative of society today. And I just want it on the record that I'm sad. <laughs> That's all. That's all. Uh, all right. Hold on. And you sent me something else because... Um, I sent you a number of things. Uh, you did for send me a number Saturday of morning live. Oh, but before, program. but before that, I did want to because some people have been saying uh, they've looked at the new logo for Saturday morning live, which is nine a.m. Central Time Saturdays. I like it. Hence, kind of cute. Saturday morning, and it works. They said, "What's that thing in the middle?" Well, it's and either an earplug, possibly. Um. Uh, Let's say. I feel like this should be a contest if people. <laughs> what is it? Do we do we, do you actually know what it is? Well, I it was suggested to me by one of the Tobies that it is possibly a trilobite, which <laughs> it does That's look funny. remarkably like it, a trilobite. I, I gotta tell you, uh, it's the first thing that I thought of. Was does a it, trilobite. Does it not yeah. look like a trilobite? That was a no. It does, but I just you know, marine not... arthropods that lived in the Cambrian and Ordovician seas and became extinct at the end of the Permian period. I got it. I right. got it. Thanks, it was only two hundred fifty million years ago. Well, 
I, you know, you could make a case that that's not true either. Didn't you have one of those uh, as a pet? A trilobite, yes. Right. Yes. In fact, in fact, my my second wife died of trilobite infection. See, anyway. that's just a that's a shame that 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 happened to her. But uh, well, it's a, and and the logo is actually blocking the the tail of that. Hang on a second. Now you can see that the trilobite oh, there it does, is. Yeah, there. does have a little tail <laughs> right down there. So that was in fact. That's why it rolled right off the tongue when you saw the logo. You went, oh, my gosh, trilobite. it looks just like a trilobite. So for those of you asking, that's what that thing is in the middle. It's a trilobite. Or some funky A replica. A replica. It's, right, right. It's not a real one because they're all uh, dead. But, you know, it's Some awesome. people would say that the whole 250 million year thing isn't actually true. but Well, the Earth we know is only 6,000 years old. That's correct. I mean, and I think that, you know, it's, it's written. If you look at the history book on Earth, it's right there. So, you know, uh, that's correct. Have you, you been the to the, have you been to the ICR uh, building in, uh, well, it's technically in Dallas, the Institute ICR? for Creation? Yeah, no. Institute for Creation Research. No, but I've heard of it's it. Right, it's right around the corner from the studios, actually. Uh, it, you, you think it's in Irving, but it's actually uh, technically in Dallas. It is amazing. Those guys are doing amazing work. And I will say this, that in their work, uh, every time I see these stories about the trilobite was 250 million years old. Uh, no, no, it wasn't. You ask them, they will tell you, uh, no. Uh, no, it was not. It is. Really? It's an incredible place. If you have an opportunity to go, uh, go to the uh, institution. I think what's their to- uh, Institute for Creation Research is their full name. Yeah. Uh, ICR. Discovery.icr.org. Uh, Excuse me. Discovery Center. Incredible. Incredible place to take the family and uh, just mark mark my words. You will leave there questioning everything you've been told. That's what we need right now is something in this world to question everything <laughs> that we've been told. I know. I know. Because that's everything that uh, we've been told. That, that's for sure. Uh, you want to see your little guy? Because you sent me the little guy. He looks like a munchkin. Okay, so this this video pisses me off. Now you're going to get me mad again. You want to set it up and I'll... You tell me when to play. Okay, so as I'm scrolling through my interwebs timelines on uh, social media uh you know either at jeffy jfr on x which you're watching this program on or uh jeff fisher radio on instagram uh i see this there you go let's connect see and let's and that's 100 percent true that the cameo is not no, it's free. free it's not free <laughs> don't even ask it is at jeffy jfr on the cameo app however right i know no, and of course you have you know the dailymojo.com and Right, it is the other. dailymojo.com. Right, right it is. Dailymojo.com. Although you did screw it up one day and I had to go out and buy that uh, URL. So, Real Daily Mojo, well, that's what you called it. And so now you can go to Real Daily Mojo. Oh, there you go. Too. I've got I've got another site that you probably need to buy soon. Oh, boy. I'm not going to buy it, but you should. What? I'm not going to tell you on the air. Okay. I don't want people right. to know. All right. All right. What? Because I, I had another idea uh, oh, last night and I thought, okay. You haven't done the moo-moos yet. I know. You I know. Make the moo-moos. I know. My, I have my daughter design some and everything. I just never. Moo-moos it's a follow, for men. It's a whole follow-through follow through thing. Yeah, it's, it's, who was it? That was it UBS? It's not how many good ideas you have. It's how many good ideas you make happen. Lizzo. There you go. That's Lizzo's. There model. you go. Right. All right, back to Fat Boy here on the side of the street. There you go. See, now that's what ticks me off right there. What? All I right, mean, so, he's just... He's... So, they make, this is my man. He's working uh, the highway, side of the highway. Uh, it's very possibly an, uh, an immigrant uh, here doing jobs that Americans won't do, but I digress on that point. And uh, everybody's making fun of him because they think that he's fat and slow. But, I mean, he, my man got out of the way. He did get oh, out of the like way. He saw, holy crap. Right. I'm He's out. Like, and I want it to be known that he wobbled, but he didn't fall. 
No, he did not. And That's how do we, we know that he for. hasn't lost a bunch of weight? And this is him working on it. Right. This this could be his workout. It's well, absolutely. I, mean, could I don't be want his people workout. working out by running away from. <laughs> run no, away but semis. that'll do it. That will do yes, it. it. If there's a semi coming at you, <laughs> it will. And he did not. He reacted pretty quickly. He wasn't. Yes, he did. He wasn't sure whether he should take that slow stop sign with him. He's no, like, he, he left it. He made the, he, made, he made the right move. And he, he made the, this whole thing is him making the right move. Right. And he did flip it from stop to slow. He's like, <laughs> well, slow. Yeah. <laughs> it was too. Slow down. The, the truck obviously did not listen to the stop. So. Bastards. I mean, obviously those now. truckers, I think we need to form truckers against Weebles. Uh, well, I mean, no one supports truckers more than me. And I would like, if we could take calls, which I guess we can, I would love to hear from truckers. I, I'm going to do a show because I want to I want to talk to truckers. The ones, I, mean, I, I have talked to truckers in the past who uh, go in and out of the ports. Right. And what a nightmare it is to go in and out of the ports. But I really would like to talk to some truckers uh, who go in and out of the ports and specifically uh, have used the Baltimore port. And uh, I'd like to know, you know, what's happening now from their end, what's going on. Way to bring that back around. That's what I do. That's what I do. Nice. And we'd also like to find out from all the truckers why you hate Weebles (laughs) so much. He doesn't. I mean, he just lost control. Lost control, thought he could could slow her down on the side of the road there when traffic was stopped. He wasn't paying attention. And, uh... I mean, he looked uh, like he I mean, aimed at him. That's all I'm going to say. It just looked like he wow. aimed Wow. That's all. That's now, possible. Uh, by the same token, I don't know. This cannot be real, what we're about to see. It can't be. There's just no way. Number one, the date's wrong. But this is... Uh, Ron Phillips sent to me, my partner. Not life partner. He's broadcast partner. <laughs> I mean, maybe one or two times we've you know been lonely. But that doesn't make him a life partner. No, it doesn't. So you know. It really doesn't. No, it doesn't. And, you know, I don't think anybody, you paint a million masterpieces and never call you an artist. You, you know, you slip once and you're classified as, I'll just play the clip here because I don't know if this <laughs> is, uh, again, he's, uh, Oh! That cannot be real. No way. Look at, look at the alien. Running out of the car. There's no way that's real. I'm sorry. The right. way the bodies. This is a real shot. Then when the car comes, see the bodies are not real. No. Nah. It Flying. can't be. And, and then the alien gets out of the car. No way. Yeah. And we're not, not in 2025. We're not in uh, the 17th of uh, February, 2025. Correct. Either. So that cannot. No. And it might be from, a, it might actually be from a game. I don't know. I don't, I don't play any of the, any of the games. So it may very well be from a game. You know, none of the games people play, but it's sad because you can't trust anything now. Cause that looks real. It, it, looks does, real. it does kind of look real. I'm sure that's probably from a video game though. But look at all the, it, look at is. all the, uh, uh, it's on, let's see they're They're on YouTube. They do the, uh, uh, star Wars short stories and they do them all with the unreal engine. Oh and, yeah, man! I, you can't tear me away from the Star Wars YouTube channel. You've not seen those. They're oh, amazing. They're amazing, and they're it's like a little short story, but they're all done very well. And with this Unreal Engine, you start you can't tell what's real and what's not anymore, and that's part of the problem with this world. Damn it! <laughs> I want everybody to know that. Don't I you have... dare bring up the YouTube. Uh, don't do it. I, I can't. I mean, I, no, I've seen I'm it. I, I watched it too many times. I'm not I have to sit that. through it again. I'm not even thinking about bringing that up. I, I just think want you, you kind of are, though. Nope, it's really... nope, I'm not. I am not. Kinda I'm not going to do are. it. Not going to do it. What I am. Okay, so it. speaking of not being able to tell what uh, what's real and what's not real. Yeah. So I see this video from posted on Ali London's X site. <gasps> yeah. Uh, Ali London TV, I think, is his X site, uh, and uh, I don't. I. I it's a, such an annoying video, and it gets you so angry. And you want him, you want the driver just to throw this person out of the car and be done, you know, back up over. Her. But I mean, this is a joke, okay? I don't want the driver to actually run over the. Is it a the joke? passenger? Is it a joke? But 
I just then I after I watched it a couple of times, I'm like, ah, it's not even real. Here we go. Let's see. Are you Ben? Yes, I am. Do me a favor. Can you move the seat forward because it's it's hitting my knees. At this yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Hold on. It's very. Can you hold on? I didn't even put my seat on, sir. Can you like slow down? You in a rush? Because if you're in a rush, I'm gonna panic. It's too hot in here. Can can I lower this window or something? Yeah, go ahead. So your seatbelt is really tight around my neck. Has anybody uh, else complained about this? No, no, yeah, no, no. Here's no. an extender, fatty. Yeah, it. Well, then take it off. No, I'm not going to take it off. I'm going to an important meeting right now. Like, I can't have my hair on. You're having right. an important meeting at 7 p.m.? What is that your concern? What the fuck I do? I'm trying to explain to you. By, the way, by the way, language warning. I'm not getting oh, yeah, big, big guy, t- Big guy words. Yeah. <laughs> just, big guy just, words. Just in case. Don't listen. Okay? And I don't appreciate your smart remark about me having a meeting at 7 o'clock. Which I'm gonna be late because of you. You showed up late. Oh. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm sorry. Are you giving me an attitude, sir? No, ma'am, I'm not. No, this do- cannot be real. See, it's not real. That can't be real. Cause I would have I would have opened the door and pushed her out while we're moving. <laughs> I wouldn't waste the brake pad. No, I just I would have opened the door. Cause you can't. Possibly. Can you? I know. No way. No way that's real. No way. I... I'm sorry. Real or not real? Saturday morning live. See, the problem... You decide. The problem is that... You have stories like that, and you have them mixed in... I know. ...with other things that can't possibly be real either but there are there are true karens out there that are just like that but and i will say we i believe this is just me speaking from experience we have met people of her ilk i love that word what does it mean her ilk ilk the way the way you are so <laughs> merriam webster says it is I actually, I don't know what Miriam Webster uh, uses for a definition of ilk, but I believe that it's just the way, a description of the way a person or thing is. It's a uh, certain type of person, usually a type you don't care for. Thank you. Okay, I had so... no idea. I've often, I've often used that word and never really known what the diff, you and your ilk, people like you. Huh. Don't say we didn't teach you something. So she could exist, but... So, gosh, point? Jeff, you were right. I'm not going that far, but I mean... Gosh, Jeff, appear... you were right. It's, po- <laughs> it's possible. It is possible that you were correct on the definition of... Okay, Hill. thank you. Right. All right. So she... Uh, uh, all right. She probably does exist. But you wouldn't... You wouldn't I mean, think these other two women exist. I don't know how long, I don't know how long I, as an Uber driver, would take that. Because in the beginning, you're taking it. You know, you're the driver, you move the seat up, you know, you turn the air down. That's fine. That's what you do. That's part of the gig. I get it. Yes. But there's a point, that line, where it's like, okay, uh, we're done. And you look in the rearview mirror and you see that face staring back at you and that's when you feel your cheeks starting to get hot that's, are you Ben? nope <laughs> get out yeah <laughs> you feel <laughs> things you just you feel the vision around the corners of your eyes you feel it start to go black <laughs> you try deep breaths and that doesn't work you think no yeah. this is a you know i can't this is a human i, I can't know. be but then finally, you just slam on the brakes and tell her to get the F out of your car. I know. And don't come back. And by the way, I don't care how many stars you give me. You can kiss my... Yeah, she says that she's gotten rid of other Uber drivers before, right, with her complaints. And then later on, the video, I've already gotten rid of Uber drivers before. I'll, make you, I'll cancel you. Right. Yeah, you can't cancel somebody if you're dead. <laughs> oh, wait. We, so we're wasting a brake pad now. Oh, no, we're not. We're just pushing her out. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Yeah. Slow down. 
Nope. You want to slow down? Jump out. <laughs> People like her really. <laughs> I mean, today's episode really has been real or not real. Uh, we have Lizzo. Uh, is the Baltimore Bridge collapse uh, real or attack? Real or not real? Well, well, I mean, the bridge actually collapsed. I do believe that. I don't believe yes. that it was a... I don't right. believe there's still a bridge standing you know, that was not across CGI. the Baltimore River. Yeah. No. That's the, not uh, the Baltimore River. It's the Penobscot River. Patapak or whatever the hell it is. Right. What is it? It's the Parapatangi. Parapat. No, that's not That's not it. It's the Look, Papa see, there's Papa. a picture right there of the bridge, and it's fine. See? It's all been a lot. See? Uh, Actually, that's when they were taking those big cranes, not the ones that are rescuing or, or di- getting stuff out. Now, of those cranes they used to offload and unload yeah. ships. And you can see them in the background when they're when they're when you see the shot of the of where the bridge was. You can see these cranes in the background, but that's when they were transporting them there a couple yeah, of years ago. Because that's what they use at the port. Huge. Everybody has one of those cranes. It'd be nice they? to have one. Right. I mean, it's a. Help me out of bed every morning. Were those cranes, uh, were those Chinese? Because I think they make those in China, actually. <laughs> I think they were. That's a strange yeah. thing. I think a lot a lot of Chinese stuff goes in and out of there. And I know. What if it was the Chinese? Can I we... know. All right. So uh, continuing along that. Theme... And we're to believe, we're to believe that uh, the one bridge, the one bridge, Major thoroughfare bridge that didn't have any safety embankments around it. Um, that was the bridge Just that the ago. ship going to Sri Lanka uh, runs into the bridge and knocks it completely down. And uh, how would you find out something like that? I mean, obviously, uh, and want to use it to your advantage. Would you send, I don't know, a balloon over the country to document? Uh, what they would particular never do that? What they particular would, uh, infrastructures would be vulnerable to things? That would never happen, though. They right? would never do that. Okay. Right. And I just, All right. I, I'm not saying they're connected, but it was about one month ago. I think it was like four weeks and three days that the AT and T outage happened. Remember that. Uh, yeah, I guess for, for what, 10 hours, all of the AT&T. And that was because somebody, Oh, they were rebooting, right? They, you know, dog on those rebooting. firmware yes, updates, they, they can knock every Bob. I told you not to do the firmware update. And right. It's crazy. And see, this is what happens if you turn <laughs> off your phone during the, and half the country. And I love is, what's good though, is that we'll be able to find out exactly what happened when we listen to the black box. Right, because that yeah. will tell us, you know, will tell us what was going on, what was happening, what was causing all of this. Yeah. Except, well, uh, no. Well, no, because when the power goes off on the ships, the black box goes dead. So all you can hear is the, is the mayday calls. It's the panic and, on the bridge. Uh, look, what are you gonna do? Well, I mean, that's just what happens. The power right. goes off, and everything shuts down. You're right. Because a that's a perfect. That's a perfect protocol. Let's not have a backup source of power what are you gonna do? to the recorder. What are you going to do? But, <laughs> and then a month before the AT&T outage, wasn't that the, when was the MGM hotel in Vegas with a cyber attack? Uh, well, I mean, we've had so it many. may have been six uh, months so ago, many. whatever. But yeah, how many right. millions well, did I mean, they it was lose? days. It was days yes. before the terror attack in Russia when we've had European countries uh, posting, yep. uh, our own government posted alerts to beware of attacks days before. And the good thing is, is that when it happened, our government was on it right there, right then, yes. telling us that it was not terror. Not so terror. we're safe. Yes. It's just another isolated incident. Just another isolated incident. That's, that's just sit back and... That's another isolated instant. Enjoy your... Hey, let's talk about something happy like marriage. Uh, okay. Love. Okay. And the question... Uh, you I love this, this story on, so much. You covered this on Chewing the Fat, did you not? I did. I love this story so much. I first saw it. 
actually it was 2.30 in the morning. I'm sitting in my bathroom, scrolling on my phone, drinking my cup of coffee, preparing the shower. It takes me a while. I have to prepare. Right. And uh, uh, I see this story come through across my timeline. And I am immediately fascinated, just immediately. So the girl on the... There, and I, I re- briefly remember their uh, reality show that they had a few years ago. So uh, they were they were obviously born like this, and the parents decided, you know what? Just leave them. <laughs> right. Well, you couldn't take... what they you, you Just leave them. One em. body. There's only one body, and... Well, two well, ha- there's one body, but the girl on the right, she controls the right arm and the right leg. And the girl on the left controls the left arm and the left leg. Let's see. Uh, and which one's Abel? So, what, what, which one's Brittany and which one's Abby? I think you know, now Abby is the, the controlling bitch, isn't she? She's the one on the right. She, everybody hates Abby. Nobody I, Abby, <laughs> Look at her. I mean, she even <laughs> looks like a <laughs> horrible, horrible attitude. I think Brittany is, just hates her, but I don't know that. And they, Boy, that would And they're suck. teachers. They're teachers. I, I don't know about you, Brad, but if I was in elementary school and that walked in for being a right. teacher, it would be an awesome time in my life. Yes, I would love it. I would truly love it. It would be an awesome time it. in my life. Uh, as, a, as a fourth or fifth grader, Right. I'm sure they're beautiful. I'm sure they're fine. Yes. I'm sure. I'm really, you know, it's, I, I, we're making jokes at their expense again, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry, right. and I can't help myself. This is why Lizzo quit. You know that. I know. I know. You know, they're used but to it. They, I, have a, they have a tough shell. They have a tough But skin. I know in your demented mind what you're thinking about. Yes, I am. You're not thinking I about love. <laughs> I want to know. I, and I, you know what? So does everyone. Is is there an OnlyFans page we can go to? Because I would, that would be one where I'd pay for a month and then quit. They might break OnlyFans. They might. This, they, this couple may actually break OnlyFans. If I'm body, OnlyFans, I'm reaching out. They share all of their organs, including the intestines, the bladder, reproductive organs. Uh, let's see, father of uh, one... Father of one Josh and Abby. What's that mean? Father of one Josh and Abby have kept their relationship quiet in recent years after the sisters ended their show on TLC. Yeah. But uh, Abby and uh, Army veteran Josh got married in 2021. And um, I think other... Abby's the one on the right there. She's the one that no, that uh, Brittany hates. Right, right, right. Of course. She's Brittany. the controlling one, right? And who wouldn't hate Brittany? Because after all. Uh, <laughs> Hang on a second. No, Brittany. No, you love Brittany. You hate Abby. Is that what it is? I knew I, I couldn't remember. Abby is the twin seen on the left side of this picture. Brittany. Okay, so no, Brittany is the one we hate. Brittany is the controlling one. Abby this is one? the nice one. Are they, are yeah, they, that's Abby. That that's which Brittany. One's Ab- that, which one's Brittany? Stop it now. What? Stop I don't it. know which one. And who are these other two women? <laughs> this is getting really confusing. <laughs> so they get married. And there is uh, one of the happy. I mean, it's just and God bless them. I mean, how horrible. I know they probably don't think it's horrible to go through life like this because they've been that way since they were. And they're born. and look, they're alive. They're yeah. having a wonderful life. They're right. every. They're doing everything that you wish you could do. Right. But I want to know. <laughs> Plus, I mean. If you're, you know, if you're in love with, so Brit, I got it reversed. So Brittany's the one that is married and Abby is the one who hates Brittany. Okay. Brittany is the overpowering one. She, if she is making love to hubby. Right. And she's okay. using the right arm and the right leg. If Abby is pissed. Right. I mean, she's not putting her arm or leg up. Right. What if she just hates Josh? <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, Really? I mean, what do you do? Does she keep her eyes closed? I don't know. I don't know. And if Josh comes home, what are you looking at? Right. I mean, what... it really and what happens my if, brain. What happens when Josh wants dinner made and and then 
Right. Abby doesn't want to make dinner, right. but Brittany has to because she's the wife. That's right. the way that works, actually. And Abby's like and, trying to study for the next day for the lessons right. for the kids. And now I've got to study. Well, I have to make dinner. What do you, What happens? How does that work? I don't know. I mean, I, look. You know what they say? Two heads are better than one. Are they? So Are they? Because <laughs> I'm not so sure in this case. I just, I. In fact, I, I don't know this to be true, but that I think that was the title of the TLC show. It should have been actually, but. I bet it. I think I was a TLC conjoined <laughs> twins show. Two heads. Two heads. No, it was, no, it was much more than creative one. than that. It was called Abby and Brittany. <laughs> Man, they had meetings. They actually, TLC actually had meetings about that. You know, That's I've been in meetings sad. like that with networks like that. Me actually, too. Discovery, who now owns HGTV, we had meetings like that. No, yeah, I was, know. What are, we, what are we doing? Can you find somebody who's, you know, brown, maybe black, to host the show? Because we need diversity. Yeah. I don't know. How about we find the person who can best host the show? Well, if they can't, can be, though. If they can that's be. how Louis Gossett Jr., rest in peace, Louis Gossett Jr., uh, that's how he got his start in, in, uh, in acting in Broadway. They were looking for a black that. kid. Yeah, they were looking for a black... You can listen to Chewing the Fat, uh, Chewing the Fat podcast, uh, so available you know, wherever you get your podcast. That's mean, uh, because my foot, I can't, and the foot, and it's... and that's, That was a really low blow to me, and I just want you to know that. You know I can't walk right now so i can't listen to chewing the fat which Wait, makes me sad here's here's the thing and what? just as a side I'll get, I'll get back to lewis gossett in a moment All right uh chewing the fat is available to people who can walk and people who can't uh we are open to wait a i minute. mean i don't care what parking spot you use you can still listen to chewing the fat when what did that deal? happen i, I thought I mean, that's been only when I walked could I listen, and now you're telling me when I'm just yeah, sitting here I can listen to. No, yeah, I've wasted a week of my life. All right. Anyway, Lewis Gossett Jr. said that when he was in, uh, they were looking for a black kid to play this part in uh, Broadway, and they didn't have any to play, so they were going around to the high schools, and somebody said, "Hey, you should get your mom to take you down there," and they did, and he got the job. That's how he got it. Was uh, were they looking for the part of the kid who you know, stole cars or what? I, I actually, I don't know what the part was. I guess the part was probably that of a, since he was a black kid, I'm guessing the part was that of a criminal. I don't know what the part was. I'm just, uh, he was a legend. Love, I love Louis Gossett Jr., yes. Now, I did say, uh, for those of you that have already listened to Chewing the Fat, um, I did say that had you asked me, because I think Lewis, this was on, we found out yesterday, so this would be part of Friday's Chewing the Fat. So yesterday's Chewing the Fat. Uh, mm -hmm. He, uh, if you would have asked me any time prior to this announcement, Lewis Gossett Jr., dead or alive, probably would have said dead. No, you didn't think he was dead prior to yet. Nah. I kind of did. I think I did. Yeah, I kind of did. Nah. He's... I'm happy that he wasn't. Well, he is I'm, now. I'm truly happy that he wasn't, but... But he is now. You know, it's very yeah, there was no cause of death listed. So it wasn't that that killed him. So why don't you just shut up about that? May have been. If it was that, they would have said something. I'm just I'm just saying it may have been. It, yeah, no, it wasn't. They would have said it. It could have they been. They did. No, you, it couldn't have been. You know, I, I look at the time. I don't know what we're in the middle of because I forgot what we we're talking about. But I feel like we should go out with a a warm and fuzzy story. We're going out? I mean, well, I it's we're... almost 10 o'clock. <laughs> well, would you rather go out with a this... warm and fuzzy story I, or the conjoint? Are we, are, I thought this was, uh, I thought we were doing, uh, we're doing uh, like a telethon or something where people Maybe. could send money. Well, they can. We're just, uh, can. What is the world? They can send money at any they time, can. as a matter of fact. But uh, I, I think, think we maybe we should, should, should we yeah. see what's the longest time? that a program has aired continuously on X, we might set a world record. We could begin our set a world record and just be on continuously 
and raise Whatever. money. Let's take a look at the toad board. Right. And uh, we got nothing. We have nothing. But we do have warm and fuzzy. We like warm and fuzzy. And I think that if you look at the headline of this story, this is both warm uh, and fuzzy. I, oh, man, how do you lose your hand? South Carolina dog groomer loses hand after a freak accident with a hairdryer. That is both warm and fuzzy at the same time. How do you do that, though? What happened? Well, there she is. There's the uh, dog groomer. Oh, and uh, man. What, what happened? She was, uh, she was drying her hair before bed okay. at her uh, James Island home when she passed out. While the hairdryer was still running on high power, this happened on February uh, 7th, according to 15 News. She okay. passed out, fell onto the floor, hairdryer was under her, and oh. uh, she just, uh, she laid there. How long was she there before? Uh, oh, my gosh. She'd fallen and couldn't get up. She had. Uh, she was on the plo uh, floor for about 20 minutes when her partner... Uh, found her on top of the hairdryer, and she's telling me, your hand, your hand. And I looked at my hand. I don't even register that it's a part of me. It doesn't even uh, look recognizable, she says. She was rushed to the hospital. Doctors were forced to amputate her hand and wrist due to the uh, severe nerve damage caused by the hairdryer's heat. Holy and we, crap. And we don't know why. She passed, she passed out. out. They, did, they didn't say that it was... I mean, it wouldn't have been like, who was the comedian on stage that passed out and hit her head? Remember her? Yeah, I do. I, or the newscaster. No, the newscaster that just no passed idea. out. No idea what yeah. made her pass out. But uh, she says the hairdryer did not have an automatic shot off like other hot air tools, uh, hot hair tools. And if there was one, she may still have her hand. So we would like to now uh, advocate for automatic shut off switches well yeah i'd also Hair like dryer. to advocate for you know people not passing out uh while they're blow drying their hair what is happening there's that too i mean but how many times I mean, blow think, drying everyone? i don't know think about I this that you're, in the, off. you're in the other room and you're watching uh you know lincoln lawyer on netflix and you haven't right. seen uh, you haven't seen the wife in a while so or i'm sorry your partner in right. a while partner. and uh, you go uh, i guess i should Gosh darn it! So you pause the show. Uh huh. You start to get worried. You wonder why right. it's taking her so long to come back out. Right. And there she is on fire. Right. <laughs> laying on the and ground it's... on fire. And you're like, why are you laying on the ground and on fire? Because then all the, <laughs> the the nice part is at least the hair dryer was not blocked. You know, because usually they turn on the hair dryer, you can't hear your show on Netflix. Because it's all. Well, that, that's <laughs> why they do it. The, yeah, but do it in, the other in room. this case, it was like. <laughs> Well, yeah, he was. They weren't. What she should have. He should have been in the bedroom, uh, oh, you know, next to the next to the restroom bathroom. I know. Please do not use gendered language to to address everyone. You don't know it was a he. It was a partner. No, we don't. It could have been a she, an it. I think that's warm and fuzzy. I think we should. All right. You want, can I can I give you a joke for the day? Okay. Oh no, we're done. No. I, since we're no. talking about humans without body parts, I'll, yeah. I'll give you a joke for the day with, right. with about a human with no body parts. I love these. Okay. Yeah. So a woman places an ad in a local newspaper looking for a man with uh, three qualifications, of course. That's what the woman wants. Uh, mm -hmm. A man that won't beat her up. Right. One that won't run away mm -hmm. and is great in bed. And a couple of days later, her doorbell rings. I guess she put her address in the ad too, because the guy showed up at home. Trusting woman. And uh, so he shows up at the door, and the doorbell rings, and he says, "Hi, I'm Tim, and I have no arms, so I won't beat you, and I have no legs, so I won't run. I won't run away." And she asks, "What makes you think you're good in bed?" I rang the doorbell, didn't I? Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, heck. It started. It did. Hold on. I got to restart it now. Restart oh, no. It. There we go. That's okay. okay. Hardly anybody would have noticed that. So uh, we love you. Thanks, love for, you. Yeah. thanks for coming to Saturday yeah. Morning Live. Right. Exactly. And 
You can reach us with all that information there on the screen. Now, sadly, if you're listening to the podcast, you don't have a visual reference to see our email addresses or our uh, Twitter handles. Sorry. I mean, (laughs) you can never reach us if you're just listening to the podcast of Saturday Morning Live. But I'm sure you can find us somewhere. Yeah, you can figure it out. Yeah, there's that. Still not in defeat and all that stuff. So, uh, all right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go look up the uh, the conjoined twin story now and figure out how they really do it. Because, and we'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> or, no, we'll be back a week from today, won't we? Wait. Okay. Wait. Yeah, that scared me too for a second there. All right. That's that's all we got. 